We Create sent me the new Vision 20 watt laser cutter engraver and I gotta tell you this thing is so unique it may be changing how all lasers are built from here on out. Let's check it out. For the most part the laser comes fully assembled. The only thing you really have to add on is the exhaust port onto the back and the exhaust hose which has a basic simple clamp you just have to screw down nice and tight. And then with the other end you can either put it out a window. I've got actually a ventilated panel that I'm going to run it through to help the exhaust out. This is your power supply. There is a USB uh, connector back here. This runs to your um, air assist and this is the power to the air assist and this is the air assist. The plastic cover or the the tinted cover comes with a, a protective on it and you just peel this. One thing I've heard and I heard this on another video, and I'll have to find who had said it, which is a great idea, is because you'll get static electricity, you'll get dust building up on this quickly, is to use a dryer sheet and just wipe it down, and it helps de-static this. Throw the power switch on the back. It... How cool is this? And then the light kicks on the top as soon as you lower it. Now, we're going to raise this up and set these metal racks. And we're going to set down And it says to make sure you install them with the screws up. Not sure why, but that's fine. Okay, those are in there. They look good. Pull that lid down. Now the We Create comes with its own software which is included. It's easy to download and set up and it's a really simple software to use. The laser has a high def camera that when you set your cutting material in it will show it on your software so you see your material and you can set your design to fit exactly the size it is. Then you can hit autofocus and it comes down and it sets all the depth that is needed without you having to mess with it. You hit the button and this thing starts engraving. Once it finishes, the laser rises back up to its original position and then the laser head moves back to the corner position. This is pretty amazing because it finishes, it raises itself up. I can still hear the fan motor running. That'll kick off in a second. There it goes. And now you can reach in and pull out what you've just carved. And that turned out pretty nice. And this I imported in very quickly. Now I'm just using this as a sample, but here's what's going to be cool about something like this. You could take something that's got a particular shape that you've got to somehow make that work or fit around and be able to cut it in the laser. Let me show you. So we set the material in the laser. It comes up on the screen and now I can start designing around the heart shape plus the edge of the material. So let me see. Let's say we add some text. Change up my my font. Now that our design is ready to go, I'm going to send it over to the laser. The laser will receive it, it'll set its depth, and then I just hit the go button and we're off. One of the things I like about this too is this is engraving right now and it's really pretty quiet and because I've got it vented out I'm smelling nothing so that this is really exciting it's very simple to use it's using its own software and 
it's really kind of hard to beat this. So now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I went with its settings, but I put a different wood in there and it's a little light. So here's where I'm going to really be curious if this can make the difference is I want to see if I can realign this and re-engrave it without getting blurry or off the edges. So we'll find out. It's ready to go again. So let's see if I can do this. The exact same one, just a little slower. But we'll see how well it picks it up this time. Now, of course, in the essence of time, I'm going to speed this video up to show you its process. Okay, this is so cool because this has actually let me engrave right over the top of where it wasn't engraved thick enough. So this way I didn't waste any material and it did a great job. Now this is just a simple sample, but already I am seeing so many things that have just some really, really good all-in-one characteristics about this. Now I wanted to try another project so I went into a program called Kittle and I'll put a link to that down below and designed up a simple badge or sign and with this project I wanted to engrave it and then come back and cut it out. So this way I got a chance to see it use both the engraving and the laser cut. So we, this looks so cool. Okay, we've seen that it cuts the three millimeter uh, plywood just fine and with one pass. So let's try out some quarter inch thick uh, plywood. This is a birch plywood and let's see how it does. Okay, I have to say, this is amazing me. It, it did these. This is quarter inch thick birch plywood. It flew through this without any problem, including doing it in one pass. Um, it's a good 20 watt laser. A 20 watt is pretty much midstream. You can get more powerful lasers, but they're not going to be as accurate as this. Now, I love the autofocus on this. I love the camera that shows you exactly where you're placing your material in there. And think about this. This comes in a full metal cabinet. Uh, it has the autofocusing. It comes with the honeycomb or the grill that you set down. That's usually an additional cost. It comes with the ventilation system. That's usually a different cost. It comes with the air assist. That's usually an additional cost. It comes in a fully operational cabinet that is lit. That's always an extra cost or you're going to have to build one like I've done in the past. You can do that but there's still costs to that. So by the time you add up all the additional things that you're going to do with it, plus it also came with the uh, cylinder rotation system and I'm going to try that out in another video. It's just got so many things going for it, plus its own software, which you don't have to use light burn, and that's a cost of, I think it's 60 to $70. This comes with the basic software with it. It is the simplest to get started with. It came in its extremely well-packaged box. Basically, you're pulling some of the packing tape off of a few things on it, setting it up, making sure it's level, and you're ready to plug it in and start cutting. There's literally no smell with this. I've got it piped out the window. It does a great job. I think this is just such a perfect little laser and engraver. And now think about this. This would be a great one for a home business. It doesn't take up a lot of space. But there's also another thing that they're offering that I'm really excited to pick up, and that is 
a bed that can sit underneath it and you can cut extended sizes of your panels up to 12 feet long. Think how much that changes everything. I am really excited about the We Create laser engraver. This thing is the bomb and I think it's going to be a powerful tool in my shop. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. In the meantime, I'll see you soon.